Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this. So this stylized text animation is done entirely in After Effects and it's very easy to create. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. So let's call this one main. Width the height will be 1920 by 1080 frame rate 30 FPS and duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now we are going to first create our background. So for that you can right click new and let's create a solid. And for this one, I'm going to make this a little bit off white color. So somewhere around here. So let's just click on OK. Now we have our background. So our next step is to add our text. So for that, you can select the text tool. Let's click. Now I'm going to type show reel, but it's completely up to you. You can type whatever you want. And I'm using this Gotham black font. But again, it's up to you. You can use whatever font you want. So once you're done with this, we can probably select this and let's align it to the center of this composition using the align panel. So we can just do it something like that. Now, in case you are not able to see the align panel, then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it. Also, let's make its anchor point in the center. So for that, you can select the layer, hold on the control key and double click on this pan anchor tool. Now we have this in the center. Now, if you want, you can just select this and let's scale this up a little bit, something like that. So we are done with this. Now, in order to give it a really nice stylized look, we can add a noise effect to this. So let's search for noise. And from here, you can see we have this noise effect. Let's apply it onto this. Also on this one, we are going to apply one more thing. We are going to apply a gradient ramp. So let's search for gradient ramp and let's drag it over here. Make sure that the noise effect is after the gradient ramp. And I'm going to set the noise amount to something like 30. Now we can select the gradient and we can just play around with it. So I'm going to just place it somewhere around here so that we have this very nice effect. Also, in case you are able to see a little bit of colors in that, so you can just uncheck this. So now we have only the black and white texture, something like that. So we are done with this. Now our next step is to select this layer and I'm going to press Ctrl D to duplicate this. And on this one, I'm going to just type the first letter, which is S, something like this. Now after that you can select this, let's press S and I'm going to just scale it up quite a bit so that we can see what we are doing. So I'm going to just place it over here. So this is going to be our starting and in order to create this kind of animation, I'm going to move into a direction. So I'm going to move into the right direction, but it's up to you. You can pick whatever direction you want. So for that, we are going to add a camera. So let's quickly do that. Right click new and let's add a camera. I'm using this 30 mm film size and focal length is 50. Just click on OK. Now let's add a null object. So right click new and let's create a null object. Make sure that this is 3D as well. After that, I'm going to just parent this camera to the null so that we can control it. Something like that. Now we are going to move to the right direction, but it's completely up to you can move up, down or left, whatever you want. So for that, we are going to add a keyframe for position. Let's press P. Let's add a keyframe. Now let's move to somewhere around three seconds. Now you can just move it along the X axis, something like this. Also make sure that these two layers are 3D as well. So let's turn them 3D. Now you can see that as I move my camera, you can see that these text will move away. So let's pick a point. So I'm going to just quickly zoom out and let's go to somewhere around here. Now let's select this show real text because I want this to be appear over here. So I'm going to select this, press P. Now let's move along the X axis only, something like this. So here you can see we have the text. Now we can make this move a little bit more further. So I'm going to just move it somewhere around here. Now let's select this and I'm going to just again position it to this. So let's place it over here. Now you can see that this is in the center. So before we proceed, a lot of you watching right now have not subscribed to my channel and I want you to please do that because I want to hit 100k subscriber this year on my channel. So make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon. So let's continue. Perfect. So if I go back, you can see that our camera is moving and our text are showing as well. So we can play around with the final position later on. Let's start by animating these. So let's go to the very beginning. I'm going to first select this, press S and I'm going to just scale this up a little bit up, something like that. Now let's start adding more text. So for that, I'm going to just select this S and press Ctrl D to duplicate this and let's move it to this side. Now I'm going to make this one H. Now we can select this and I don't want this text to be visible in the beginning. So I'm going to just add a little bit of gap so that we have this S appearing something like that. Now let's do one more thing. Let's select the keyframes and let's press F9 to ease them so that we have this sort of 
graph and in case your graph is looking different then make sure you are using the speed graph not the value graph so we are done with this let's start animating the edge so for this one i'm going to press s let's add a keyframe for scale and let's go a little bit ahead now we are going to change its scale so i'm going to just make it randomly something like that now it's completely up to you. you can just do it however you want also let's place it over here so you can see that we have this sort of animation let's place it over here we can move the keyframes closer so that we have this quick animation perfect now let's add our next text so we have o so for that again i'm going to select the s press ctrl d to duplicate this now i'm going to just type o and for this one i'm going to do a reveal from this edge so i'm going to just scale this down something like that and let's place it over here so here you can see that this completely blends in so we are, we can do a simple position animation so let's place it over here if you want you can just play around with its scale let's make it a little bit bigger let's place it over here perfect now we can just move it something like that press p add a keyframe let's go a little bit ahead let's move it to this side perfect now we can probably trim this out so let's see what we have created perfect let's make this a little bit slower also we can just something like that so yeah, i think this is looking perfect there you go now we can play around with the next text so we have sho let's add w so again for we can select the s press ctrl d and let's just move it over here let's quickly type w and i'm going to just make this smaller so let's place it over here and let's add a simple animation for position let's add a p for position and let's go a little bit ahead let's move it to the down so here you can see we have this w coming up again we can select these keyframes let's press f9 go to the graph and let's make it to look something like that now if i play back we have created this animation let's move it a little bit ahead so now if i play back here we have this w perfect now let's again create another text so i'm going to just select this press ctrl d and let's remove the keyframes for position and let's move it over here now let's type r and i'm going to just make this quite a bit so let's just do it like that and you can see that we have this sort of animation now we can play around with their timing so i'm going to just make this edge a little bit faster and let's move it over here perfect so here you can see we have this text already here so we can just move it further ahead something like that and we can just continue moving this like this so now if i go back we can play around with their timing later on let's continue focusing on these texts so r we can just leave it like that let's press ctrl d and i'm going to add a e let's press s and i'm going to just scale this down this and let's play around with its position so let's make this even more smaller now i'm going to add one over here and we can add a position keyframe so let's press p add a keyframe now let's move a little bit behind and we can just make it come from top something like that now we can select this press ctrl d and we can press u because our next step is e. next text is e as well so i'm going to just move this one to a little bit over here and i'm going to make this one come from bottom so instead of top we can select this and let's make this come from bottom something like that now all these animations are very random so let's select them press f9 and it's completely up to you can just play around with their position rotation animation and at the end all of these will look very unique and different so once we are done with this we can add a little bit of delay now we can offset these so you can see we have first letter coming from top then from bottom after that let's add our l so again for this i'm going to select this press ctrl d and let's press u for position we can just remove this and let's type l now i'm going to make this quite a big so let's select this and hold on shift key to make this quite big 
something like that so i think this is looking fine now we can just move it over here so here you can see we have this sort of thing let's go over here now we don't want this l to be visible so we can just move ahead so that this goes out of this frame somewhere around here now we can again finally position our text where we want this so we want this to be in the center so let's place it over here you can probably zoom in now if you want you can enable the title action save now you can just pos position it something like that let's disable this now if i go back let's preview this what we have created so here you can see we have this sort of animation now if you want you can play around with their timing Let's do one more thing. Let's add a little bit of animation to the L. For this, I'm going to add a simple position animation. So let's add a keyframe. And in the beginning, I'm going to just move it to this side so that it comes in. Something like that. Maybe we can add a little bit more movement. So here you can see we have this. Maybe we can just, maybe we can move it a little bit closer. So let's see what we have created. So yeah, I think this is looking fine. And once we're done with this, we are ready to add some shapes to this. So first let's select everything by pressing Ctrl A, then press U to collapse all the layers. Now let's start by adding some shapes. So for this one, we are going to first add a rectangle. So let's select this and just click and drag. Now you can see that it will create a shape. Let's create something like that. Now I'm going to use this yellow color, but it's completely up to you. You can use whatever color you want. So let's select this. Now let's quickly apply the noise texture on this as well. So let's just copy this noise and just paste it over here. Let's make this 3D as well. You can see that it will move it a little bit. So let's place it again where we want this. Something like here. Now we can play around with the scale animation. So let's add a keyframe for scale. Now let's go a little bit ahead and we can just make this zero. So here you can see we have this scaling animation and we can just play around with its timing. So here you can see we have this and maybe we can just play around with its scale as well. So let's make this like that. Here you can see we have this. Perfect. So after this, we can add one more shape over here. So for that, I'm going to select this layer, press Ctrl D and let's press S. And I'm going to just remove all the keyframes for scale. And let's just quickly place it where we want this. So somewhere around here, we can just lower down the Y value and just make it like that. So over here, we want this to scale from this angle. So for that, we can just move this anchor point over here. So just select the pan anchor tool. Now you can just click and just move it somewhere around here. Now we can add a keyframe for scale and in the beginning i'm going to just set this x scale to zero now we can move a little bit ahead where we have this now we can just increase its value and you can see that it will come out something like this now if i play back here you can see we have this line growing again we can select this press f9 to ease them now we can play place this below these text something like that we can add a little bit of keyframe ahead perfect so here you can see we have this line and maybe we can just move it over here perfect so once we're done with this we can add more shapes so let's start by adding a circle so let's create a circle something like that again don't forget to copy the noise effect just paste it over here and i'm going to just animate it from here and let's move its anchor point to this side again let's make this 3d as well so you can see that it will go back to the starting now we can just move it back where we want this circle somewhere around let's place it here now we can press s let's add a keyframe so i'm going to just set this to zero in the beginning and after that we can move a couple of frames ahead and let's increase it up quite a bit something like that now we can place this below all of these layers so here you can see we have created this sort of animation now you can play around with the keyframes press f9 let's move this a little bit further something like that so now if i play back here you can see we have the 
text and we have a bunch of different shapes coming up now we can add one more over here as well so something around here so for that we can just simply select one of these shapes so i'm going to select this one let's press ctrl d after that let's move it over here and let's play around with its timing and i'm going to so yeah, i think this is looking fine maybe we can just place it below all of these text something like that so here you can see we have created this sort of animation which looks perfect so once we are done with this we can do one more thing we can add more animation on this text as well so for that i'm going to let's select one of these layers so let's select this shape layer press ctrl d and it is over here let's move it something like that now we don't need any kind of animation on this so i'm going to press s let's remove the keyframes and we can just play around with its size something like this now let's randomly place it here and there so let's go over here now we can split this layer by pressing ctrl shift t so we can just move the second one to somewhere around here first let's move its anchor point to the center again you can select the layer hold on the ctrl key and double click on this now we can just play around with its scale so let's make this quite big and let's place it over here now let's move a couple of frames ahead let's press ctrl shift d let's make this like that let's place it over here again let's move a couple of frames ahead press ctrl shift d to split the layer now let's place one more over here let's move a little bit ahead again let's press ctrl shift t and we can delete this at last so here you can see we have this sort of shapes perfect now let's add some glitches to the text as well so for that we can select the text which we have over here so in the beginning something like this let's select the text layer press ctrl shift d to split this layer and i'm going to select this one and let's make this a little bit bigger let's move this to the top let's move a little bit ahead let's select this press ctrl shift t and let's move this one down below and we can just move it make this smaller and just place it over here let's move a little bit ahead again press ctrl shift t and let's make this bigger we can probably move this up let's move a little bit ahead somewhere around here press ctrl shift t and let's make this one down here let's lower down its scale and at last we can just place it to where we have this original text so for that we can just select this press ctrl d and let's just move it over here we can delete this one so here you can see we have the text finally at our position something like this so let's play this out so here you can see we have this animation and at last we have our text so this is how you can create these kind of animation and the best thing is that you can just have a random animation into the text and just make sure to add the noise effect so that we can get this really nice texture and at last you can have a little bit of glitches to the text and the shapes as well to have a final reveal so in this way you can create these kind of stylized text animations now the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you are not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one